Kids Sparkle Tuesday morning. I just wanted to, you know, have, keep having these little thoughts, and that's the purpose of Sparkle, and that's why I come to you and tell you what's on my heart. And I was thinking, I listened to the audio Bible on the one of the Bible apps that I have on my phone, and sometimes you know we hear we hear certain scriptures and we latch on to them and you know you just kind of hold on to that hope and you hold on to that hope and you hold on to that hope and I can't remember it's been a while um, that I bought this coffee mug and it has Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord they are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. This has been sitting somewhere close to me, uh, I would say for about two years now, okay? And I kept thinking, you know, I kept holding on to that, and I kept saying, you know, God, you said this scripture, this scripture, this scripture, this scripture. And, you know, I told you all on my Facebook yesterday about the revelation that I had while I was painting in my kitchen because I'm, you know, I'm covering up the red with yellow. Um, for those of you that like red in your kitchen, and it works great. I tried it in mine. It closed that room so much that I couldn't stand to be in it. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to do a different thing. Um, but while I was, while I was, Get, oh, I got frustrated because I couldn't do any more than I got done yesterday. And, you know, before certain things happened to my body, I could paint a room pretty much in a day. I can't do that anymore. But, you know, I, I talked as I talked about yesterday on Facebook, you know, I looked at the red and I looked at the yellow. And this revelation came into my mind. And no matter what I do, from this point forward, as long as I own this house, as long as anybody owns this house, that red paint's going to be on the wall. In my mind, that red paint symbolizes the blood. The blood is always covering us as Christians, as believers. We are always covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. As long as we stay where we're supposed to stay. We're always covered. That yellow to me, in recent in recent weeks, I've had somewhat of a breakthrough. And I talked about it some yesterday. And I've talked about I talked about, you know, laying down some burdens that have really, really had me just distraught. And just emotionally trying to work out and fix something that I cannot fix. It's not for me to fix. So last night while I was listening, I listen and tend to listen to it all night long because I fall asleep with it in there. And um, so sometimes whatever may be seeping into my brain that I don't know. <laughs> through the audio but you know I wake up and I'm in a different place um, hours later and that's okay because I can always go back and I have my Bible sitting on my dresser so I can always go back and read it again because um, my husband says that it doesn't count the parts that I sleep through but it counted when we were in Germany and he was getting ready to go for in, for the E5 board and we listened to the Soldier's Creed every night all night long for about, I guess, a month, maybe two months. My daughter was a teeny tiny baby, and I'm pretty sure she could have said it if she could have spoken all the words. We knew it frontwards, backwards, sideways, upside down, and crooked. So, just throwing that out there. Anyway, so, um, I went back. This it, it, I happened to be in the 26th chapter of Jeremiah when I looked back on my phone last night to start listening. And within just a little while, it's in the 29th chapter. And boom, had another little thing click in my brain. Whenever you get to 
verse 11, it says what I just read. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an unexpected end. Then, then, this is verse 12, shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Verse 13 says, And ye shall seek me, and find me, and when ye shall search, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I, verse 14, will be found of you, saith the Lord. And I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all nations and from all the places whether I have whether whither I have driven you, saith the Lord, and I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. You see, verse eleven is a good verse. Because God does know. God does have a plan. If we don't seek out him and seek out his plan and we keep trying to do things our way, it ain't going to work. I'm just going to tell you. And yeah, I know it ain't, ain't a word. I'm from Kentucky. I can say it. <laughs> um, and I mean, what I mean, just straight up, is that we have a choice. We can keep doing it our way. We can keep messing it up. Or we can seek out that will, that new, that absolute plan that God has for us and do it and get what he has for us. It's not going to happen just reading this verse. When God has your whole heart, then this can happen. Until then, you're going to get there eventually. But whenever you seek after him, like, you, like a deer, a thirsty deer looks for water. When you get thirsty enough and you get done enough to where you're willing to say, I give up. God have your way. Tell me what to do. Show me. And folks, that's where I'm at. I've been here before. And I have this really bad habit of still trying to go back and help God. It hasn't helped fix anything yet because I keep getting in the way. Pure and simple. So, my sparkle, my thoughts for you today are to remember when you find a scripture that touches your heart, grab hold of the one before it, grab hold of the one neck behind, underneath it because there's more. There's always more. We cannot fathom all that there is that God has in store for us. We can't even begin to fathom. Um, so, you know, the other part of Sparkle that I do is to tell you what's on my face. Came out of the Unique Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation and Chiffon today. Totally turned that upside down. There you go. And the eye look came out of the Mood Struck Addiction palette. Not this one. I grabbed the wrong one. It came out of number one. And that's pretty much all I have for today. It's a working day around the house, so we didn't do a whole lot of prettying up. <laughs> but anyway, I am the mayor's daughter. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get something out of my videos. I come to you. I bring you my heart. I share my heart. 
Um, and this is what was on my heart today. So I hope it helps you. Um, but remember, I'm the mayor's daughter. I thank you so much for everything that you do for me. I thank you for allowing me to talk to you and to listen to what I have to say and to share. I thank you for supporting my YouTube channel, supporting my businesses, just supporting me in general. Um, to coin a, to use a phrase coined by Red Green on KET, I don't know how many people have seen him. We used to watch him all the time. We're all in this together. My goal is not to put anybody down. My goal is to lift you up. I love you, even if I don't know you. And if you need someone to talk to, you need someone to help you, contact me. I'll talk with you. I'll listen to you. I may not have the answers, but I'll do my very best to encourage you, to help you in any way that I can. So, remember that when you watch my videos, you've made a friend today. I thank you so much for watching. This is our last time out. I am the mayor's daughter. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.